This is Dr. Carroll, and this is an introduction to the file totals project. And so for this project, what I'm doing is I'm giving you your main class, well, a small part of it. You can see, uh, you can see here there's several strings, constant strings here that I've provided to both help with the prompts and the error messages and there's comments for each one to say when to use them this this project is all about getting handling um, problems that arise in a very graceful way and to keep going as much as possible and so especially with files there's a lot that can go wrong the user could ask for a file name that's invalid the data in the file cannot be to the format we expected, and um, and in this um, and in this project, you're going to ask the user for a file name and also some numerical input. Well, what if the user doesn't provide numerical input? So let me give let me show you a, an example of the data files. So here we have input data dot tab you can see there's a single tab character between the values just three lines and that the first column you can't really the first column here is going to have a name a, a, a set of non white space characters and then the second column has special meaning it's the number of inputs the number of values on that line. So there's two values here, we can see that. There's three values here, we can see that, but uh-oh, this one says there's four and I only see one. So we can already anticipate that there's gonna be a problem when we go to read this file and we it says four, but we we don't find four. So let, let me demonstrate Let me demonstrate what um, how this would work. So let's see, my main.java, let's see if it compiles. Yay, it compiles. And we run it, we could say input data.tab. How many lines should we read? Let's just say two. Let's avoid that error one. The, the file has a total of 211.4 values, okay? And so it was reading all of those values. Those, those values included 14.5, 72.3, 34.6, 15.6, and 74.4 because we asked for the first two lines. And so every, everything went fine and dandy there. And so you notice this project is requiring the user to input things. So you'll need a scanner object to read in the file name and to read in the number of lines. Okay, let's see it again, but let's see bad file name dot text. That was not a, a valid file name. Okay, also not a valid file name. Okay, okay. So let's say stats dot text. Okay, that's a valid file name. That file exists. Let's see, and let me show you what st st stats looks like. Stats has a few more lines. This one is separated by, the values are separated by spaces. It's just a .txt file. So let's see, three values, good. Nine values, uh, nope, 99, nope, zero. Okay, nine, yep, there's nine and two. So we can see, again, this file has some inconsistencies in it. So how many lines should we read? Let's say 99, let's go for it. Oh, it says there's not enough valid input data that's gonna, that was caused by trying to read this line. It sees this, the same problem with the next line, but notice it didn't just crash and burn and leave us with an ugly trace back. Um, it, it kept going. There are less than the requested number of lines. We requested 99 and they're clearly not 99 here. And so for all the values it could read, which are all of them in the third and over column, it was able to read those. And notice it did handle zero items there. It didn't 
didn't get bogged down by that. And so um, let me just show you the, um, let's see. There's also values.tab. Again, these are separated by tab characters. Oh, and notice here, junk for a number. Instead of the number of rows, so if we do Java main and we say read in values tab, and let's just read in all of them, this, notice it says invalid number of data values in the second column in the file. And that's referring to this junk for a number. So there is one good clean file and it's separated by spaces here and that's illustrated there. So there are six tests to this file, the, to this project. Each one of them deals with a different aspect of something that could go wrong, whether it be an incorrect, an invalid file, um, trying to read in data incorrect that uh, is a bad format. For example, this should have been a whole number, but it's not. And so notice that we handled it gracefully and just kept going and read what we could. So this 468.4 is going to refer to these numbers, not the second column here, but and handles it gracefully using exceptions. Uh, using tests and things like that. Let me know what questions you have.